one more thing if we're about to dip out or whatever. Um, yeah, yeah. So I saw the Scott, uh, our kid named Scott. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm a in the middle named, of it. Is it a man or a kid? Or a man named Scott. It is a man named Scott. I think it's a man. Yeah. He's a man now. I'm right after He's they went through day and night. It's kind of long, isn't it? I'm gonna, it's a good distance. 40 it's minutes a good in, length. maybe. What do you think so it's far? So about it, I like it. I like how they go. Th- I like l- learning how stuff is created. I like to learn the process. Mm-hmm. And I know how much work goes into, like, creating stuff that's actually re- like you know what i mean that's really for sure good so uh, i like seeing uh somebody's finished product and then talking about what it took to get there right and and yeah yeah i i completely agree with you bro um the growth of it mm-hmm. too that yeah yes. seeing like I've seen where evolution. he started mm-hmm. and not to mention that was completely like that was our youth you know what i mean growing up right here dude it and that was it i saw it after i saw the spider-man movie like the next day after that like i had spider-man fresh in my brain now i'm watching kick (laughs) into that i'm like oh oh my gosh man Mm -hmm. like he said jared like bro we watched cuddy start his career and now it's like you know he is that man on the fucking moon that everyone knows now but he Mm -hmm. you know like we were so close with him, bro, and so just like, I mean, he 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 literally got me through stuff, and mm-hmm. a lot of people say that, you know, a lot of people say that on that on that mm-hmm. um, show, and and it makes you understand, like, dude, we're not so different after all, no. you know, we're all the Imagine same. Imagine if we, we hit stardom, you know what I mean? If we hit stardom from shit from this, yeah, and then we had people flocking to us. And like we couldn't breathe almost type deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's like that's a whole new world that's too. That's crazy, yeah. Um and, yeah, and it does hit because it's like how much he's helped us, like you said, helped us through. We don't even imagine what he actually goes through. Yeah, like on a personal yeah. level. We just yeah, we just know there's a common ground at this single point, mm-hmm. but life goes on mm-hmm. for everybody. You know what I mean? Until it doesn't. Yeah. You, I always think about like the best music takes what somebody where somebody has to go to make that music. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the best like even like rock music, either like Nirvana or like Alice in Chains. I've been listening to like that like pain and that music list like some yeah. of Cuddy's songs, like some of that shit. Like he had to go he, through some shit to about, get that. He, he talks about how he he listened to those songs like or like to alternative yeah. music. Mm-hmm. You know. And not just rap all the time. It doesn't have to be just this. Don't mm-hmm. put yourself in a box yes. type deal. Right. Yeah. Open. You up. know that there are other things that you would relate to and like. Mm-hmm. And that's right. why, like, bro, really I hits. feel like that's why, like, my class right now, like, we're almost done. And and the people that did not make it, I think it was the type of people that were stuck in that one. Uh, genre box and that one outlook on music and creating things like you can't just like out of all the things that I've created like like most of it's not hip hop and rap Mm -hmm. a lot of it's like alternative and just like just uh, like environmental stuff like you know what I mean ambience and and lo-fi shit like exactly get weird like really feel something Mm -hmm. yeah makes you grow I want to try different shit I wanted to ask you guys, and Vince, I'm glad that you said it, like you said the word that I was looking for was the creativity of the whole, the whole thing mm-hmm. was about creativity almost, because a lot of that um, documentary strays off from Cuddy's making the music and just goes into the people who were either inspired about it or who mm-hmm. he inspired to, uh, or um, what was inspired, what came out of it almost you know, and it, it, it is that creativity, you know, mm-hmm. um, I just wanted to ask you guys, like, I mean, Barnes with your music, Vince with the podcast, and I would say the same thing with Mike, like, we're all pretty creative. What do you guys feel like um, maybe inspires you guys to mm-hmm. get creative or what or, or what where do you think your creativity stems from? What do you think that we went through? 
to to get to our creative point because we have like creative abilities and i think everybody does but maybe it takes a certain comfortability and i mean if anybody wants to go first like either one or i'll I'll go ahead i'll try to give an example so it's like i said i'll go ahead the that like the inspiration for being creative because that's one thing about like like bro you can you can work out right and then you can get muscular and you can just do that and force yourself right you can force yourself to eat something good and that creates your you know puts your body in and where you need to be you can force yourself to learn these uh equations and become smart in math you can't force yourself to be creative bro you can't and the more you force yourself to be creative the worse it's gonna be and i think that's what i've learned the most with like school bro like i've been basically full-time school and it's it's not that i'm the the i've been the less creative i've ever been but the way my mind is right now it's like i'm gonna put everything into learning right now like my creative side is like almost chilling and it knows like dude once you're once you're done you have all of this knowledge that you don't need to look anything up and 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 your brain is going to be you know kind of cloudy from not knowing what to do like oh I, I can't be creative because i don't know what to do bullshit dude now i know what to do now it's only creativity that's going to come and like the times that i do feel creative a lot of it's like like what you said jared like it's i mean a lot of it's like negative things like you're wondering what do people have to go through to make this music like you know i start thinking about shit that happened in my life you know what i mean and then like that's when that juices start flowing because like how am i going to portray that in non-words you know what i mean yeah bro i hear you but and also i i kind of want to throw out the fact that creativity is so I think it's so embedded to us that we don't even understand how much that we actually let it out. Because even the fact of what you're wearing right now, Avatar, Last Airbender, was a certain sort right. of creativity of what pro- what portion of clothes that you wore. And that is what mm. you said is the where you've put together so many outfits that you already know, boom, I want to put this on boom, I want to put these on because that's the way, you know, that's the way I dress. Whether that be because it's cold outside and I want to wear something warm, but I also want to wear something stylish, something that people might yeah. take, you know, an eye at, you know, and, but I like what you said too, at the same time, like the fact of like not trying to brew up too much to where you can soak in. You want to be a sponge. You're not trying to let yes. the water out right now. You're sitting there soaking it all in. And, and I thought that was, I thought that was dope. Um, and Vince, you with like your style of music, like, like you said, you listen to all sorts of different alternative music and, um, how you, I want to say how you organize the, the dab lab, if you will. Or, or Straight up. Yeah. His way to put it into reality. Yeah. How you, how you pretty much envision even to making the table for it bro like yes. what, what do you think i almost what i see in you and i don't want to steal the words but maybe it's like i feel like it's your interest in these things like you're heavily interested in it and and you want to be a part of it would you say that's accurate yeah like i i uh i don't know how how i envision the table i guess like i take influences from like different stuff that i enjoy watching i guess like uh even rogan's podcast i took i looked i looked at different stuff how their podcasts were set up and i took inspiration to how to set up ours i guess if that makes sense uh, i mean that's part of like being the sponge like mm-hmm. barnes is saying you know what i mean vince. taking this fragment and implying it yeah i feel like with vince bro i feel like you um you you like a lot of stuff like you said and i feel like you like to do a lot of things at once and sometimes that gets a little yeah. hard, but you went, once you put it into a physical form, mm-hmm. it's like, you got it. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So now that it's laid out in real life, kind of like your the way, table, like your way, like if you your started way. with the table, mm-hmm. it started with the table. 
And once you had that, it was like, oh, it sparked ideas to now this. Mm -hmm. And now let me start set this up. Okay, yeah. now that's set up. I know that I can then go to this mm -hmm. and slowly build it like a fucking pyramid and it all comes together as a cohesive thing. Yes, it's very hard you know to get I mean? started. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> you know, once you get saying. started, you're like, okay, I keep the fucking ball You know, rolling. you can, exactly, yeah. How, hey, that's how it is with beats too, bro. I beats are hard your, to make. Uh, your guys' uh, uh, anal anal analyst analysis analyzation. <laughs> yeah, I was getting it wrong. <laughs> I, I uh, looks like uh, Mike just sent a message. Maybe he'll be able to hop on and join. Yeah. I, I was I was really hoping to see his side of this as well. For sure. I because uh, like he does the pins and stuff. Yeah, that's exactly mm -hmm. what I was gonna bring yeah, up. Bro. Creativity. Yeah. He, it's so creative. Mm -hmm. And but he didn't make the pin. No, he, right, he but the way the that pin. he yeah he took an interest in that pin and then formed it the way he wanted it. Bro. Mike Mike and is one of the most new yeah, unique individuals I've ever I've ever met. But he has like so much in common with us, but he has so much else that he doesn't have in common that's like yeah and that's all like, of yeah. us bro he's I don't a tentacle like that, but he's, i can see why tentacle. you like that you know what i mean i don't know yeah he's like he's an octopus with many fucking arms <laughs> you know what i mean like he, he's i got connected. this over here but don't forget about this <laughs> he's connected to everyone that's what i'm saying he's connected to everyone bro and i think that's part of not about. being so stuck inside of a mm -hmm. box you know what i mean yes. like yes. um because then you don't get to see these aspects of of this walk into this check Bro, this out you know if we I mean? could build a studio the creativity we would bring into that like make it like our own thing i don't know that's a that's, that's what i think about like what like barnes we talked about eventually building like a uh, like making like a place of our own like that would be fucking Yes, like bro, that's when my creativity and that's one thing I learned too. You start, bro. I just like, start thinking creativity... about shit at work, like Yeah. Once I'm not home, usually my creativity is a is is a little stronger than before. You know what I mean? Jared, um, where'd you go? I'm still here. Oh Try you to... know what I wanted to do? I wanted to make like um I told Vince this earlier, like a creativity podcast where like we're making music while we're doing the podcast or we're you know what I mean? We're creating mm. something like, you know, once it's a little warmer, we could create another aspect to the podcast, um, like studio, you know what I mean? And we could actually build something so we could have the student or we could do the podcast while we're building something or while we're making a song. There's so much room for growth as long as like we don't get stuck inside of you know exactly if we bro we don't get stuck inside of ourselves you know what i mean like yeah, it's our own brain yeah that's the only thing that's stopping us i mean shit anybody who's been in in like prison or jail i mean if they uh if they set up their shit inside the cell you know what i mean or yeah. have their own specific way of doing things I, I guess i'm specifically meaning like long-term people you know what i mean like maybe have like a calendar or some shit, or just still try to expand their mind like you can live within within your mind and and like bring that shit to life almost you don't have to be so stuck in what what the physical surroundings are you know yes because like the way we like bro we live in indiana uh jared doesn't um but like you know indiana's not you know it's not the fucking most scenic um area in the world you know what i mean but like art like just art is literally self-expression it's it's not limited to, that's the thing about art too that's not limited to just drawings and shit it's yeah. any type of self-expression and that's everything and, and that's kind of yeah. why I wanted to ask you guys this about like Kid Cudi and all that is because most people are like, well, first of all, like I, I like rap. I only like rap music and rap music is this. Yeah. It's hard. It's aggressive. It's it's street and shit. It's got to yeah. be this. And it's like, look, well, Cudi brought rap, but he brought alternative rap. You know, he put yes. a funky sound be, behind it. And, and not, not only that, but it was like, it was self-expressive. It was like these these feelings where, yes. where you know, isn't supposed. To, it's not really the norm. It's not normal. It's to not inside this it. box, you know, to present it in this way. But 
he presented it in the way that he felt in himself. And lo and behold, we all fucking feel like we all agree (laughs) yeah you forgot to tell me man what the fuck i'm feeling the exact same way he was talking about how he was like trying to sing it at first i gotta finish it now and then dot yeah and then dot the jeans was like yo kind of just like say it just gonna say it oh there's my day in the we've been talking about all kinds of shit we miss you yeah here okay here let's just ask him real quick let me guess yeah Uh, Paul's bitch at, or one of the Paul bitch at. No, we haven't even talked about that. Hell no. We haven't oh, talked about that. We haven't that. talked about Paul. No, damn it. We've been talking oh. about Kid Cudi and creati- creativity and shit like that. Oh, well, that's beautiful. Right. It's just amazing. Mm-hmm. Well, we we wanted, <laughs> we wanted to, <laughs> we wanted, we wanted to, with, to uh, ask you, like, so we're all, like, pretty creative I mean, we all have our own like creative aspects, every one one of us, and we really admired like one your pin collection is a is a cool way that we thought that you had a really creative, um, uh, you know, something that's creative that's yours. That was something that you did, and and it's not necessarily just you liking that that pin and what it was, but how you put them together. And we just wanted to like talk about like where do you feel like like your creativeness comes from, you know, like our, our, our what gets you creative or um, what do you find uh, that you love about creativity? Any, any of those or anything you want to say about that? I think that's a really good question. Um, I mean, you can branch off into a lot of things, whether it's like uh, what you like or just like, um, how how you live like your your surroundings what you've been taught um uh, i feel you know, like where growing is, up a lot of influence probably yeah but um i think when you ask me personally not to branch off too far I'll, where, where my creativity uh comes from that's i mean that's a good question i don't know if anybody's ever asked me but i would say that was a good question <laughs> we all had pretty uh, good answers you, you know, you guys hear me say this a lot because you guys are my brothers, but uh, specifically my real blood relatives, you know, siblings have a lot to do with. Um, I mean, the way I dress is like literally just an <laughs> off my brothers. So it's like, I know that's not creativity in its uh, purest form. No, but we no, disagree, no, man. No, we no. think completely. We, were, <laughs> we think we that is part of it. We about it. That's what I'm saying. When, art, like, when when my pure thoughts of creativity come to me, it's because of I've watched my dad over the years do something crazy, like fixing things, or watching my siblings do uh, something or whatever, or even like literally you guys um, watching you, you, you brothers. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you, man. Yeah, so like you're surrounded by what you've been surrounded yeah. what you've been surrounded I, by. I I believe a lot in like not the definition of the word aura, because I really don't know the true definition of it, but like I believe in the fact that like um like you have this aura and we we kind of like vibe off of each other and give off of each other. Mike, I feel like sometimes I'm thinking about yes. shit and you fucking text me about the same sh- same thing. <laughs> I don't fucking get yeah. it. Yeah, I'm telling you, and it's like we're all just kind of like, <laughs> these, like we're we're growing off of each other in our own way. It's like just it's yeah. frequencies, bro. Because Any because is growing Mike, our relationship somehow. Mike, because yeah. I mean, you said you said all those things like your family, your dad, us like influence you but i know none of us do the pins like you do the pins so just that yeah, alone yeah. specifically that specifically is something that's uniquely you that i feel like that you have you have like displayed a love creativity it. almost you know what i mean and it's, it's, it's just really cool how you do you have you have them in your room right now right well so, i'm i'm not in my room at the moment oh, okay. Okay. or else i'd show you i could go okay. up if you guys really wanted me to, but I was actually wanting to save the pins for a later date because I okay. have 
Yeah. And Even I'm better. Still it's got more of it's getting boiling. it in, but it's yeah. our process. Well, Bro, got, but got... yeah. Yeah, I, I, we definitely like admire that. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, 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 it's cool what you got going on there. Yeah. Especially when you have the so out. many. I just flipped the switch. Clip, clip. Yeah. Hey, one thing I wanted to point out real quick. Uh, I love that you, you, you know, pointed that out in my like creativity, because a lot of people will uh, be like, you know, I'm not creative. I can't draw. I can't paint. I can't build. A I don't sculpt. think that's great. It's all how you interpret your own art. Like even like this. <laughs> that's that's literally. Art, I feel like, like I. I I'm not good at drawing or painting, like really what for me personally. Um, but like my is art comes through to me in different ways. Like the way I show my pins or the, you know, my fucking, my curly hair, like that's yeah. my creativity right there. Bar- Barnes said something great. What'd you say, Barnes? What is, what is uh, your self? Our- yeah, like so. Yeah, it's just it's self-expression, and there's no like everything is any type of self-expression is art. Yeah. So there is no limit to it. Just because someone can't draw doesn't mean they're not, you know, Artistic self-expressing and creating, creating art. Video yeah. games, You're movies, still creating art. Yeah. Wait, so this is the end. Cooking. Subway. A guy, a, a, a sandwich <laughs> artist. <laughs> right. He said, "Your dad's deep." Is the paintbrush your mom? Yes, yes. The is the canvas. You're a You don't like art. He said, you don't like art. <laughs> he said, thanks, James Franco. <laughs> so, yeah. No, take take the Franco. Don't take the Rogan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Well, uh, this is our last episode before the holidays. 